Hey guys, listen, I wanted to create a video on the kale shakes. Some people um, don't want to do the berries because it's a little too high in carb. So we're going to make a kale shake with no extra berries. Okay, I'll show you how we do it. So number one, uh, that's pretty disgusting, right? The color is green. Well, good thing I have my spare in the right here. We're going to use that. Nice and new. So we'll get this thing out of there. All right, put this up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna blend the kale, okay? So let's do that. So I use the organic kale from Trader Joe's. It's all cleaned, it's organic, it's pretty cool. It's gonna happen, it's gonna blend up and kind of foam up and we don't want that. How much I use? Now we're going to fill it up to here with water. Okay, so we filled it up with water and now we're going to blend it. This is really complex, isn't it? It's really hard to do this. Okay, so we're going to blend this about four minutes. Okay, so that was four minutes, okay? There's nothing worse than blending a kale shake in a weak blender because you're gonna get chunks of fiber, it's gonna be terrible. So it's a really good blender, it's called Extreme, and it uh, works pretty good. Okay, so the reason I blended the kale first is because uh, if you add in some of the other things that I'm gonna show you, it makes it foam up too high. Um, but if you drank this like this, it would be pretty disgusting, right? So we, what, what we wanna do, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, actually I could just probably take off the top here, okay. And I'm going to add the lemon juice, organic lemon juice, okay? Just like a teaspoon or two or three. Uh, this prevents the kidney stones and uh, calcium deposits. All right, so we're going to blend it a little bit there, mix it up. Don't need to do much other than that. Now, to sweeten this thing, what we want to do... I add the raw wheatgrass juice powder lemon flavor. This is a little bit of stevia. So we have the benefit of the sweetness without the carb and some serious nutrition. So I'll put one scoop in there. And one teaspoon is equivalent to an entire tray of about 12 inches by 24 inches of wheatgrass. It's like a lot of wheatgrass juice powder. And then what I'll do is I'll put a teaspoon of the electrolyte powder. Again, a little stevia in here, a little flavoring of raspberry, lemon. And then we get the benefit of trace minerals and a whole bunch of other minerals and more potassium. One teaspoon of each. So we keep the carb down really low. I'll blend that in for a second. Not too much. Because if you overdo it, it'll just foam and come out and the whole thing, okay? Now, if you're going to consume this as a meal and you want to add coconut oil, um, you can do that at this point as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a teaspoon of coconut oil in here. And you could add more if you want, but this really gives you some seriously good fat. And the type of coconut oil that I love, this is a 100% organic virgin cold pressed unrefined and then I will blend this a little bit. Now, out of the carbohydrates in the kale, uh, not much protein, a little protein uh, and fat. This is a, a severely low glycemic drink, okay? Because fat does not trigger insulin too much. But the fact that you're consuming this will stimulate insulin just a little tiny bit. Um, if you're on a two meal per day schedule um, and you eat, consume a meal and you drink all this in one sitting, it's a lot. So you can either do this uh, during your eating window. You can do it in the morning, maybe when you wake up. Uh, but what I do is I drink some of it with a meal and then I'll wait like an hour and I'll drink the rest, okay? So again, this is a very low carb thing. And I use these mason jars. So this makes about two, two of these. So I have, 
this is my entire salad for the entire day. So I'll drink both of these uh, for one day. So I'll do one, wait an hour, and do the other. Um, again, it, it doesn't really matter exactly when you consume it. It's just a matter of how much you can consume or drink uh, during your meal because you might be so stuffed. And we just take a straw and we're good to go. So that's the simplicity of how I do my kale shake. Hey guys, I just recently did a survey and I found out the number one thing that you want is to know what to eat, okay? You want examples of meals. So I created a series of recipes that you can get which basically show you how to combine the foods in the right portions to do ketogenic and intermittent fasting. They're totally free. All you need to do is click the link below and sign up.